Hi, today very important topic, horse nutrition. I will show you how I feed my horses to ensure health and fitness for them. These are all Connemara ponies. If you have other horses, you may consider changing something in this diet because this uh, nutrition is composed especially for them. For horse welfare, the most important is constant access to fiber-rich food, constant access to clean, filtered water, living in a herd and a lot of movement. My horses have a permanent paddock constructed in a way that the water is on the one end and the hay is on the other. So they have to travel the distance of about 300 meters several times a day to drink or hide in the shade. In addition, every day horses have access to a large meadow with grass of various species. It is spring now, so I limit the grass a bit due to the very high sugar contained in it. So they don't stay in the grassy pasture for more than three hours a day right now. In addition, once a day horses receive an individualized dose of food which includes beef pulp we use them as a base to give flavor to whole set wheat bran uh, are used to balance the ratio of calcium to phosphorus which is disturbed in the pulp both of these elements must be given the right proportion in the feed otherwise they are not absorbed properly probiotic in order to obtain the appropriate bacterial flora in the intestines, increase immunity and reduce possible negative effect of eating hay, which may not always be of perfect quality because of a bit of mold or fungi. Lime seeds to supplement omega-3 and 6 fat. It also helps maintain a healthy and shiny coat. Revital. Horses weakened after a long transport have some deficiencies. It's why I additionally supplement them for a short time with a specialized revitalizing blend. Oats. A small dose of oats to increase protein containment especially for young growing horses. Mineral mix to provide the right amount of copper, zinc and other trace elements because practice shows that these are elements that are most often deficit in horses but directly affect health, tendency to laminitis and hoof function. In winter, we additionally supplement a vitamin E, which they naturally obtain from grass in summer.
I invest a lot of time and effort to ensure them very good nutrition so they are healthy and fit and they are.